Welcome to the Books, Beards, Booze podcast, where we talk books, drink booze, and have beards. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna go so good. Jesus Christ. Swimmingly. Y'all just missed oh, a stunning, <laughs> stunning, uh, I was trying to catch it, be- oh, but she stopped before. I saw you looking at me. Yeah. No, you mm. just missed uh, Tanya. Do. Mm-mm. Oh no! Do the do the meows. Do it. Do the yeah, full do effect. The Every song works with a meow. If you don't know the words or you're making up the words, meow, 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 meow. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, there, there it is. There it is. All I right. Ain't got no uh, sleep. I am so tired. Meow, 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 meow. As always. Welcome to Books I, Beats Booze. <laughs> I am Bob of Tells by Bob. I'm the Ask the Podcast, Derek. I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> So uh, that's it. There's no Tanya. She's just sleep deprived. Sleep that is, deprivation. That is has that joined is us this week. Yeah, Tanya has been working Black Friday. Uh, she works uh, for forever. A... I just work forever. <laughs> yeah, she'll let you she, know. When she, she works stops. retail on Black Friday. She had to be there on Thursday. She's got like no sleep. She's struggling. But to brighten brighten everyone's day, I made a 29 track christmas playlist that is 29 different versions of little drummer boy because it's the best christmas song okay and one of those one of those is real big fish do yourself a favor and get that because honestly i am in my head jamming to the meh 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 yeah Mm -mm -mm. i love i love ska anyway just pick it up pick it up that's so good like why didn't you make this on youtube so that you could send it to me so that i could have it that's what that's I fair. don't understand. That's fair. Or maybe I will. Maybe oh, I will. Oh, I just want to yell at Lady Friend and just be like, Alexa. No. Play it. Bad. <laughs> so what are we... What Volume are we, 10. What are we sipping on here, Derek? Okay. We've got, so we got a new whiskey here that we're trying. New whiskey. We're trying <clears throat> uh, Black Patch Distilling Company's Bourbon Whiskey. It is combat veteran owned and operated. And it comes from here in Alabama, which is why I bought it. Because it had that cool little Alabama... Yeah. tag on there yeah the, our abc stores here in the state if it's made in alabama they'll put a special tag on there to let you know so i saw it and i checked it out and it is made and bottled in madison alabama which is north alabama for those who don't know but. so we've got a little bit of it yeah kinda smells i love how you're s- smell. i love how mm-hmm. you're smelling it as if you can smell something over this yankee candle balsamic fur. Uh, I, do I didn't even a, notice balsam, have a balsam not balsamic <laughs> vinaigrette over here. Yeah, my vinaigrette dressing that I pour in my oil burner. No, it's a balsam and cedar what in my oil fuck? burner. But no, okay. the, the the last one that we tried, that George Gibson, smelled like rubbing alcohol. This yeah. actually smells like bourbon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, that's buttery smooth. Almost disturbingly smooth. Like, there's... Very little bite to that at all. Huh. That's pretty good. Yeah, no, I'm with that. Do you want to try one after? I try mean, a little I'll guess I'll have a bit. Yeah. Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm with that. <laughs> oh, you want your drink back? No, I guess I guess I don't. Just, just, <laughs> no, that's just all you. Just, just one more. Just, just one little, more. Just, just, little... just one more. Because oh, that's, that's what I need on No Sleep is liquor. Yeah, girl. Get it. Yeah, <sighs> no, that's good. What? Well, how much was that? How much is, you know... How much is... Th- no, this was 36 That's not bad. Like that. no, I no, mean, no. For, for local made. That is I good. Th- I think with I think with tax, it was 39 even. Okay. Mm. What it was. A yeah. little higher. But I didn't mind it. I, I don't mind local. it. Yeah, exactly. And this no, is good. There's no bite, yeah. but I get just a little bit of that, like, fumy heat in the yeah, back of my exactly. nose. A little bit of heat deep down in your chest, Which but I think there's means no it's got bite. rye in it heavy, but we'll I don't see. know. Hmm. But, like, there's no, like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that is... That may be the smoothest whiskey I've ever drank. Mm. I cannot think of anything that has had that I can remember no has had less bite. Aggression to it. Yeah, well, but you still get a little bit of that heat. Yeah. So, like at first, I was like, when I took that first sip, I was like, uh, maybe, "This ain't got no liquor in it." Yeah. But then I started feeling the heat. I was like, "Oh, oh, 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 maybe, but wait, oh, but maybe, wait, there's more." Maybe did we let it sit in the the ice too long and maybe it get watered down? Is that why it's just drink it out the bottle? I'll Give it a shot and, right yeah, now. We'll, Pop it open. No, we'll, in a little bit when little, we when we get done, we'll little yeah. sip and yeah, we'll, we'll we'll give it a go. Because so, maybe okay. that's what it is. But um, so as always, um, our podcast is brought by. 
Oh, I'll let Derek read it. No. <laughs> Tanya was going to read it, and then she said, no. No. Uh, <laughs> this week's episode is brought to you by The Elderon Tales, an exceptional D&D experience that you won't want to miss out on. The Elderon Tales are a collection of stories happening simultaneously inside a vast fantasy landscape filled with undead horrors, elemental phoenixes, and warring nations. Go to ILDERONTales.com to follow along with their four interconnected campaigns or find them on YouTube directly. Because they're fucking great. And the, like, I just wish I had time, like... Time to, time to follow along? Yeah, well, I, I think I I'm just going to catch up. I have up. not had time to watch the latest city season of Letter Kenny. Oh, wow. I know. That's how busy I've been. Like, I keep meaning to start watching this, because I... I've seen a little bit as of it. As long as they He's don't take quality. it down, I'm good. Yeah. I've seen some. Like, I went and watched yeah. it some live when he was first doing it, or when yeah. he first started. But, you know, I just... I wish we were filming this so y'all could be watching Tanya, oh. Tanya just <laughs> dancing <laughs> over there. Just getting her groove on. <laughs> so, uh, for the news, first off, I want to ask a question. Beard Three. baubles. What? Beard? beard baubles. Yes or no? What's a beard bobble? Like a like an ornamentation for your beard. Oh, baubles. Baubles. Yeah, like B A U B L E S. Yeah. No, like yeah. Bob. <laughs> oh no, no, Bob. 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 I think I want to get because it's a microplastic. I want to get those beard baubles. I think. You gonna try some? Yeah, they got some on Amazon, like eight bucks. So like like you're talking about like actual baubles. Like I imagine, like if someone are they just like beads? No, they they have little clips, like little clips, but they are basically like the round like Christmas balls, like you'd put on your tree. Yeah, they they look exactly like Christmas tree ornaments. Okay. And Man, I wish I had known about this this before I shaved my beard. Begs the question of why though. Well, that's my question. What do y'all think on them? Are y'all pro or against? I and, think it would be ridiculous, and I would have worn some for like the first twenty minutes of work one day for yeah. our for our party or something like that, yeah. and then taking them well, off. Well, that's the thing. I'm not going to wear but them just out and about, but like yeah. to a Christmas party, I'm, I'm going to get these to wear. I got a couple Christmas parties I'll be going to. I'm going to I'm going to get them for that. Yeah, I mean, so. I guess so. Okay, I was just seeing what y'all's thought was. So here's the news, though. So there is. As we know, there's the growing interest in alcohol-free yeah. booze. Yeah. Because... Reasons. Reasons. Um, well, so, Anheuser-Busch, InBev, that's leaving them with a problem. What do they do with all that alcohol that's been sucked out of the beer? They put, put it, it in, in the extra beer. alcohol. Make yeah. them double alcoholy. No, I don't think you can do that. Well, um, not, if, not with that attitude. Yeah, <laughs> not with that Fair. attitude. Well, so here's what they... Here's what they Started doing. It sealed a deal with Belgium-based Ecover to create a dishwashing liquid with a quarter of its content derived from the zero alcohol versions of the Leffy and Juleper beer brands. I, I don't think they're doing this in America. I think it's only a European thing. Um, the residual alcohol, which serves as the active cleaning and preservative component, is extracted, cleaned, and sent to Ecover for use in its too-good-to-waste detergent. Um... But the other thing that they have to deal with is they have the, the plant that they're doing is that it produces like 1.3 million tons of leftover grains. Ooh, what do you do with that? Well, pigs. They're animals. looking at turning it into a plant based meat substitute. Gross. Like, no, it'd be like an impossible whopper. Yeah, like she said. Gross. I just imagine. Oh, they're good. Have you had one? No, the impossible whoppers are good, but I just yeah. imagine this is like yeasty paste. Leftover. I don't even, it's like leftover, like barley and barley. Barley. I mean, I don't even eat regular Whoppers. <laughs> yeah. No, the Impossible Whopper is legit good. Like I, no, I'm, the, I'm a, is, I'm a hard, it, it gives me hope because I'm a hardcore carnivore, but I know that meat is kind of unsustainable as our population grows. It just takes so much energy to produce a pound of beef as opposed to a pound of grain. Mm-hmm. Um, so I know long term it's probably going to be unsustainable, and I'm eventually my poor ass is going to get priced out of meat. So, Except those pink hot dogs. You can yeah, eat pink hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Well, those I, I think the case can be made that those aren't meat. Um, <laughs> but, like, the Impossible Whopper tastes like meat. Like, yep. it legitimately does. I'm not saying yep. it tastes like great meat, but it does taste like meat. Mm-hmm. has a consistency in the texture. So it gave me hope. It uh, gives me hope for the future that we're getting to the point where one day I'll be able to order, uh, you know, a oat steak and Look, it tastes like 
Then Beef you can steak. say you eat vegetables. Yeah, I don't yeah. really care what it is as long as it tastes good. Yeah, and, and the Impossible Whopper tastes good. I mean, it's, it tastes as good as a Whopper. Whoppers are kind of low end on my fast food burgers. Yeah. Whoppers are great. Whopper Juniors, the big Whoppers are just too much. Okay. Ignore me. I'm <sighs> wrong about everything. I know, but we like to keep you around. All right. So this week, we got a fun topic for you. Yes. Tor.com came out Dot with a com. list of, as they put it, almost every sci-fi fantasy TV or movie adaptation in the works right now. So it's a super, super concise title. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, just as concise as the fucking article. Yeah. Uh, this article is arguably the longest fucking article I've ever seen on Tor. And in most, like, this article is super long. So we decided that we're going to end up breaking it up into two sections. This episode... We're going to cover the coming soons. The coming soons mean that it has a release date. Like, it is... At they, least tentative. Well, the, yeah. They've started filming it. Like, it is a for real deal thing. It is coming. No questions asked. Not we actually are, hypothetical. We are getting this. It's not hypothetical. Mm-hmm. It is coming. And we thought we'd kind of go down the list and talk about which ones interested us, uh, which ones we're excited for. Etc. Except et Derek, who had thoughts well, De- on Derek. All Derek of has them. notes, um, <laughs> which is fine. Pages. But we have we have a lot. I mean, there's a lot of these to cover. So up first, and we're just going to go down the list. We're just going to go down there. Yeah. Up first, they got a Harley Quinn animated TV show coming out Cook. with Kaylee Cuoco yeah. from uh, Big Bang Theory voicing it. Um, I don't care. Could not care less. Yeah, it's DC in a comic. Womp uh, womp. I like DC. Zero fucks. Given. It's interesting. I don't like this character. I don't like the trailer that I saw, yeah. and the tone does not work for me. So yeah, no. I, 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 I peep. It's kind of like the way that people idolize Marilyn Ma- Marilyn Monroe. <sighs> she was a terrible person, right. and people just idolize her. Same and thing I don't like Quinn. that. Harley Quinn is not a good person, and people idolize her. And I think it's. I think, and she is a beacon. For certain people who are unhealthy and they project, yeah. and I'm not saying anyone who's a Harley Quinn fan is, you know, sick in the head or anything. But uh, they're, they're, I'll say that. If you like, ooh, I love Harley uh, Quinn and I love uh, the Joker, I mean, like, they're, 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 go to they therapy. Are, there are people that, you know, that they, they like the Empire. They're, go to they're therapy. They're Slytherin or whatnot. Go, to, but, go talk to your therapist about it. Those are not healthy role models. Um, well, I think the argument can be made from what I understand that Slytherin, you could make the argument, like, they're just ambitious yeah. That tends towards ruthlessness, but it doesn't necessarily have to. Yeah. So that's not yeah. most, if you. But but well, whatever. that and that's the thing. Like there, most of these things there are arguments that can be made, and I'm sure that there are people that pay a lot more attention to Harley Quinn than I do that can make mm. informed. Be like, no, she's very interesting because of this reason and this reason and this reason. I don't Neck idolize beards. her. I just find her an interesting character. And yeah. if you find her an interesting character, that's fine. If you idolize her, that is probably unhealthy. Ooh. I, want I hope j- we get some hot takes. I want to love in, in our... like Joker no, and don't, Harley. No, no yeah. you don't. No, you, no, don't. you don't. You fuck yeah. with. Like, read a comic. Don't. Yeah. Don't, like Jesus, fuck. Right. Um. That that. So yeah. Honest, and, and I, the in the interest is, of honesty, that was one of the main reasons I was yeah. like, "Fuck this! I just I can't." Yeah, I don't. I, I can't and here's the thing: out. I know that there are some really good uh, comic adaptations in cartoon form. I know this. Uh, uh, the Bat- animated oh, Batman the, series? Batman Brave and the Bold with the Viking well, no, Aquaman was fucking great. Legitimately, <laughs> pretty much all of DC, the, yeah. literally the best thing DC does is their animated. Right. Like, their animated but here's the thing. I don't, the I'm world. not a DC guy. Not really. Right. And I just, I'm I'm not going to watch these cartoons. Right. I'm just sure. not hype. I'm just not hype for them. You know, I've yeah. never been a guy who was hyped for those. There's a couple of things on here that I would like to art, make okay. a, make a pitch for you. Like, okay. I think I might watch them. And if yeah. so, I think you should watch them too. Okay. If it's, especially if it turns out good. Up next, V Wars. I'm uh, low key interested I, in this. Okay. I'm not, but here's why. One, I've never heard of this. Yeah. Two, if it's not underworld, I ain't got time for your vampire bullshit. <laughs> All right. Quit making other vampire stuff and make more underworld movies and or TV shows. But so, it's got Ian, Cutie McCutie from, face oh, from Vampire yeah. Diaries. He's well, also a vampire. I've never seen Vampire Diaries. Yeah, that, I've, I've missed I've missed that one. Um, no, that said, lot, that though. said, I don't know anything Me about either. this property. This could be a very cool property, but by and large, man, I'm just kind of over vampire stuff. I'd rather have vampire stuff than zombie stuff. You're more over it, or you, are you I'm more it? I'm more over zombies than I am vampires. That's yeah. I, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not. Here's why. 
vamp or zombie stuff, I have a lower expectation because there's mm-hmm. just you can't do that much with the idea of a zombie. Like and the the weird twists that have been done, you've kind of done a lot of the weird twists mm-hmm. that you can't do with zombies. Vampires, I just feel like they're because they are intelligent creatures. There's a lot more you can do with that idea. Um, so every so often you get cool something. Ideas. Bob, excuse me. I think it's uh, they pronounce it vampires. Vampires. Uh, no, you are correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah vampires. Yeah, yeah, that was my bad. You. My bad. Thank you, uh, vampires. vampires. Um, she would know, but uh, so I'm not interested in this. Uh, the reason being, it seems like a very simple premise that I've seen before. Yeah. It's a TV uh, show. There's no actors that I'm attached to, so I don't have yeah. that. Ian Somerhalder. Uh, no, no, I know who he is, but I, I'm not <laughs> I interested don't. in him. It is IDW, though, which is, I do, I'd like, that they. I like their comics. Yeah, but so. also there's, and the 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 trailer doesn't have yeah. like an interesting, there's no Nothing interesting stylistic you. Decisions okay. on the way they're shooting. Yeah, anything. the underworld movies so aren't not... exactly wildly innovative, but, but they just did the, the, the tone, look. Yeah. yeah, the tone and the look of those is just so amazing. It was really interesting. So, like, the, you got to have some one of those three things yeah. basically to pull me in, as, and you'll notice that as I talk about these. Okay. And just it, just, it, it just doesn't have any of those yeah, things. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, but this next one, though. The Witcher. Uh, the hype. thing I'm potentially most excited for on the, the coming soon list. Mm-hmm. Right. So, um, this is going to come out on Netflix. It is. Yes. And it's it is one hundred percent. You know you know what the thing I'm most hesitant. December twentieth, right? <clears throat> yes, December twenty. What I'm most hesitant about this. Mm-hmm. What? The author is actually a creative consultant for it, and normally I'd be like, "That's Good. a great thing." In this case, uh, his last name is Sepakowski. Mm-hmm. He's a righteous tool bag, righteous tool bag, righteous fucking tool bag. Um, <laughs> He well, we're not going to at him on Twitter. No. Wonderful. He, well, fuck him. Um, <laughs> he basically, the Witcher games, uh, he says that they would never have been a, a success without him, and that the fact that they are so pop, his books are so popular now and got option had nothing to do with these intensely popular computer games. Like, he was like, all this, it's all me. The computer games are trash. You know, they're nothing. They would be nothing without me. I, they had nothing to do, and like, and then like, Bum. he was so dismissive of their of the computer games that he signed the rights away for like a flat rate instead of taking a percentage. And then after the fact, when they became intensely fucking popular, like game of the year games, he came back and sued them for, for more money. For, for more money, it's like no motherfucker, you were a tool bag and better than them. But now that they're making a lot of money, Bob. you want to cancel your contract and get more? Like, oh, fuck you, motherfucker. Like, Bob. yes, sorry. It's okay. He got fucked over. He ain't getting no more money. Well, I'm sure I'm sure he's getting a lot of money off the, that's this. That's fine. These rights. Yeah, and that's fine. I have no problem with him getting rights for his stuff because he did create just, the idea. It's just, cool stuff. But just the way he's – I hate it when authors are just, like, dismissive of other forms of – Media. Media. Mm-hmm. It's like, man, like, these can – I've – I. I sunk. I more did not time. know there were books. I su- yeah, exactly. I sunk more time into playing Witcher three than I have in reading his books, and I've read two of his books. Um, so here's yeah. where I stand on The Witcher. I'm very interested on it, but I haven't played the games like any of them. I played right. like the first two hours or something like that yeah. of the third one, and it was fun. Witcher three is amazing. I love the idea of it. The setting seems fucking. Fun awesome yeah seems very much the kind of thing that i'm super into i just never i just don't like the combat style of the game because yeah. i prefer like strategy games and stuff yeah so i haven't done it oh if you play but, it on hard like the hard difficulty setting mm-hmm. the combat becomes intensely strategic well i mean as but, it is but i still have yeah. to mechanically be able to do the things right like, all right ah. so here's here's my other concern is um there is very much a will they or won't they like there is the two main characters arguably are the witcher and this wizard uh, this Jennifer Jennifer this uh wizardess yeah sorceress sorceress um she uh because he's a witcher he cannot have kids right she desperately wants kids they're like in love and she can't have kids either that's part of like the magic and so like but she's obsessed with that and just back and forth like will they won't they Kind of, and I, if that's not done well, that's gonna be super annoying. Yeah, but and I know she's kind of a main character in it from the way it looks, but I, I don't. I think it's really gonna follow Siri. They're like kind of adopted yeah. daughter thing more. So we'll we we'll see. But I'm excited. Yeah. So, 
up next, The Outsider. This is a Stephen King uh, property. I haven't read the book. I read the wiki on it. Um, you, you had the opportunity to not to go in not knowing anything. Well, no, no. I, I read. Here's the thing. Like I, I read like every Stephen King book for like. I've read 80% of Stephen King books, I guess, and mm-hmm. just I don't have the money to buy his books new. So every so often I'll just go, well, what books have I missed? And I tend to just read the wiki on it. And I've read the wiki on this. I am not going to like this because um, it's got some mistaken identity kind of stuff mm-hmm. going on, and I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. So it's a cool idea. It's done. I think it's done well, but I'm just... It's going to be on HBO yeah, in January. I'm, I'm just not... I'm, that's going to be my job for this. Is just a, where is it going to play, and approximately when? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that's what you're bringing to the table. <laughs> yeah, because uh, my my thing on that was like, okay, it's Stephen King. Steve, a lot of a lot of Stephen King stuff is good. A lot of it, when it's adapted, is it's trash. trash though, yeah. So you got to be real careful. It goes one or two ways. Uh, but it has Jason Bateman in it, and I like Jason Bateman. Yeah. So is he in it or is he executive he's producing? I think he's of, just the producer. No, he, no, he will direct roles. and star. Yeah, uh, yeah he's I directing the, the first trailer. episodes. He's like a, the, and it's got Ben Mendelsohn, which I know that name. Yeah, I think I recognize him too. But uh, so it's got he, some good names yeah, attached. But, but and this is going to be a recurring theme: is it is horror. 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 That's, it's not my thing. This is, but like, um, this this seems more suspensey from it, the way it for, looks. It's, it's going to be some... a bit of a cop drama y kind of right. element mm-hmm. to it. And so I don't think it's going to be super horror. I know, but either, no matter what, when you say something's a horror, yeah. certain elements are heightened, other elements are lessened, and, and that's it's not, not to, your not your bag. Yeah. Okay. If I hear it's like really good, for example, if Bateman puts in a good performance, I'll probably watch it because yeah. I want to see that. I don't have anything against it. It's just it's not what I go out of my way for. Right. So we're that's gonna we're gonna play that one by ear. Okay. Uh, up next, we have the turn of the screw is getting adapted into a show called The, the Turning. Turning, a movie, a movie. Yeah, late January. Um, I'm cautiously optimistic of this. If you last year this time, I'd have been like, mm, man, I just don't know. I just don't know. What's that? Um, but why I've changed my mind is because of the haunting of Hill House. Was the adaptation of that was so well Wasn't that done? The TV show that they it was had a TV on... show, and they're doing a second season of that. Um, but, I heard good things about. Oh, it, it was amazing. The show was really. The great. show was amazing, about, yeah. and just visually uh, storytelling. The rest, like the Haunting of Hill House on Netflix, was. Uh, I'm I'm just kind of well done. How well done that was, and it being such an old IP, so to speak, it's mm-hmm. got me cautiously optimistic about this one, and especially it's a movie. I'm. My bar to watch a movie is so much lower than a TV show. Like TV well, shows, your are just investments such a, less. Yeah, on a it's movie. just such a time For investment. For me, I go show. the other way. I feel like because a movie, I feel like it's something I should go watch in a theater. Oh, and I don't. It's gonna take something to get me up out of my fucking room to go watch it. Whereas mm. a TV show, most of the TV shows that are gonna come out, I have the option to watch because I already have the streaming service right. that they're gonna be on. So it's mostly just how it hits me at the time it comes out. Okay. Unless I have, like, a specific interest in it. Tanya, you give a fuck about this one? Are you hype? Oh, you hype? I don't really think horror. I care much. Yeah. I Could, mean, I will... Maybe. If, if it comes if, out in theater theaters. Yeah. See, my bar for movies is pretty low because I can see a matinee movie for less four, than $5. Four yeah. yeah. So, any movie's pretty damn good for less than 5 bucks. Yeah. So, my cost to entertainment ratio is pretty, pretty high so i'll i don't think i would go see it by myself because i don't like seeing horror movies alone part yeah. of the excitement of seeing a horror movie is having someone who will sit next to you and jump scare you yeah that's me the entire time oh yeah no i would explain why we don't go to those movies because i would punch you that's fair well yeah. if i don't get the jump scare then i'm just sitting there just anxious the whole time it's yeah. when someone jump scares it's me good that to have I'm able me to actually around breathe. Because it gets super tense, and I'll jump scare her, so it relieves the tension from the actual jump scare that comes thirty seconds yes. later. Yeah, and then I can breathe because I'm going to be holding my breath the whole time with my like knees to my chin. But you should that ruins the going experience because you're supposed to wait until the point no, because they... I'm 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 providing a different experience. It's great. He's a pressure release during the scary movies, right? But, but also normally, normally she's the pressure they're... pressure release release. But only if you're providing her with a power supply. Fair. Wow. Fair. <laughs> wow. You know what? I'm just going to let I was that, expecting a murder on. joke. Instead, it's a jack-off joke. Jack-off Jill. Um, this next one, 
I expected you would be interested in. I am. Okay. I you, think I, I'm think Color Out of Space. Yes. The Color Out of Space. It's a movie. It's a movie Legendary. based on a Lovecraft story that I have turned into a one sheet RPG that you can download for free off my website. It's got fucking Nick Cage. So it does. It's got Nick Cage, which at first I was real like, Ugh, that can go either way. <laughs> but I have read, I read a review. Have you not seen the trailer? No, I haven't watched, I purposely haven't watched the trailer. But I read a review where a guy was like, he's seen it. Because this is hitting the, the, right, the, it's already the been to award this, circuit yeah. kind of deal. Yeah, and the they Toronto were like, Film this Festival is the perfect, effect. like it's, Nick Cage is like the perfect project for Nick Cage. Like that zany yeah. Nick Cage-ness, it fits in perfect. the Lovecraftian genre. I Good. can see that because I watched the trailer. Yeah. So any of these that had trailers, I watched them okay. heavily. I I was working on this all morning. Yeah. So this one, I'm very interested in. I so, Because I've never seen a Lovecraft okay. ad- adaptation on They're screen They're mostly before. trash. Right. I assume so. Well, yeah. this I also has Tommy one. Chong in it. Yes, it does. Well, so here's the super great thing. There, This is the first movie in what's hopefully going to yeah. be a Lovecraft Series. cinematic universe. Yeah, I'm with this it. Is, if this goes well, it's going to be the first in a trilogy. But later down on this list, there's a ton of other Lovecraftian projects that are getting made. Like... We're really about to hit, I think, a real Lovecraft renaissance renaissance period. here because there's a lot, a lot of really good projects that are getting ad- adapted. So, since you didn't watch the trailer, though, you're not going to know this. There is some very interesting cinematography going on. I would think so because the whole point of this is like an indescribable color. Yeah, it's, doing some weird, like ble- bleaching like, the color out. Legitimately, in my like, notes, the thing I was like. Could be interesting. It's Lovecraft. Never seen Lovecraft before. It is horror. I'm not a big horror fan. But if nothing else, I anticipate that there will be some meme worthiness from Cage. <laughs> yeah. And the cinematography looks, looks awesome. insane. Um, looks the second really one, cool. if this goes well, they'll do the Dunwich Horror next. Mm. I, don't, I don't think I've read that one either. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really hyped for that. Yep. Up next, Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. No. Tanya, when's it coming out? It's coming out two days after my birthday. So it's February 7. It's going to be a movie. The previews are already out. It looks abysmal. Yep. Let's move on. Oh, uh, it looks awful. Yeah. It's a it's a DC movie. It's a, it's yeah, not, it's, a, they, it's, it's a DC not, movie. It's not specifically a Batman movie. I have zero time for it. It said Fantabulous. I'm over yeah, it. We're, like, I'm, we're done. We're done here. We're done. Moving on. Yeah. yeah. Bloodshot. I am so into this. I don't know shit about Bloodshot, I but do. I love Vin Diesel, and he needs to be in more movies. I... We should get him on the podcast. He's a nerd. Yeah, we'll yeah. get right on that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Add him to the list, Tanya. Yeah. Okay. Um, Re- reach out to his people. Yeah. We'll have okay. his people get in contact <laughs> this is with a, our people. This is a film, a feature film, coming out by Sony uh, February 21st. I'm excited about this because... Yeah. I used to read these comics when I was a kid. Okay. It sounds like a neat premise. Because, like, I read Bloodshot. I was like, Bloodshot? I know that name. Then I saw the premise, and I was like, wait a second. So I went and Googled, like, image search, and I'll be damned if I didn't read. It was So there was some image comics, and then I think this is, was this, uh, starts with a V. Valiant. Um, Valiant. Yeah, and some Valiant comics that my brother, I don't know how the fuck he got these. Yeah. Because they weren't mainstream. Like, they were, you know, this yeah. was in their first pitch when they were just coming around he bought them when we were little kids i don't know where the hell he got them but it was just we had 15 comic books and it was one of one the of 15 comic books nice. we had and i was like this guy is awesome yeah so yeah no i'm 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 not like chomping at the bit to see this but of the comic book things we've referenced so far it's the yeah. only one oh, i yeah. give a fuck about oh yeah. yeah and if you again you didn't see the trailer right yeah no trailer makes it looks i mean it's just Gonna... It's it's a project that I know nothing about. I just know it's Vin Diesel, action movie. What I read sounded like a cool premise. Yeah, I'm in. I'm here for this. It's I don't want to say it's exactly because it's not, but it's kind of like in that born supremacy kind of like created okay. badass yeah. kind of. Okay. I, like, I think it'll be less spy y but like them a- very action adventure oriented. I'm the, yeah, there's some things I, I don't want to since you okay. purposely avoided yeah. the trailer. I won't tell yeah, you what yeah. it's actually about, but okay, I'm into it. This I'm, next one, I'm actually 
this is, might be the this might be the Marvel movie that gets me to fucking go see a Marvel movie. And, eh. The New Mutants. The New Mutants because, because it's, a movie. it's a horror movie, and that's a, that's a good thing. I think that's what Marvel is doing. The DC this, needs to pay more attention to is branching out genres. Genre because like Guardians of the Galaxy. Those are space operas. I mean, yes, they are technically superheroes, but they're space operas, and I this, love that. This isn't Marvel, though. This is Sony. Oh. It's a Marvel comic. Right, but, oh, it's, but it's by Sony, because they own the, oh. the X-Men. Well, and then there's and the, that like Disney-Fox oh. merger, so this it's may not even come of... out in theaters. This may just go straight to Hulu or Disney+. Plus. There's some it's got stuff. Maisie Williams, though. It does have Maisie Williams. Um, no, I mean, but they some... replaced Rosario Dawson, who is just gorgeous. Yes. And so that's not good, but... But there's some, I mean, there's some interesting stuff going on. Like, uh, I, I don't know, just the the picture that they have here. Yeah, I've seen a trailer it's a of it. New Mutants or teaser or something. horror movie. I, I'm I'm kind of here for that. April of 2020. Yeah, my thing was, I'm not going to go out of my way to watch it because I'm spoiler as you'll see here. I'm I'm over superhero stuff yeah. right now for yeah, the most part, fair. with a very key exception. <laughs> okay, um, but like. Since this one, I like you said, I'm real into them taking superheroes into the genre direction. Yeah. I think that's what they should do more of. I wish you would have. I wish you would I need trust to, me a little bit. I need on to some see Doctor the, Strange. Also, Ooh, I wish you really would trust one. me on uh, Zitz. Derek, you burned me once, when, and I'll never forgive when? you. Oh, f- uh, okay. Laughing fair, Cat, you fair, burned me. I can never trust you. Yeah, again. but you can't remember the name of the movie <laughs> or the show, so I don't think it counts anymore. <laughs> But, I, it's not that I can't remember; it's that I've blocked it from my memory. But uh, the second Captain America movie—they're okay. they're basically spy movies, just with Captain America in them. Okay. All the Captain I'm kind America of there movies, for that, which is good. Which I'm in, I'm into. Those are probably my speaking favorites. of which. Up yeah. next is Black Widow. I'm mm-hmm. excited for this one. I have wanted a Black Widow movie for some years. That's um, the only thing I have against it is like I wanted this some bitch three years ago. Yeah, and they I, wa- until I wanted this burned. before the Avengers wrapped up. So this is supposed to follow the aftermath of Captain America's Civil War. It's yeah, just, which was I don't know what good. eight years ago. It was real good. They released so. that shit. So no, I've been I've been wanting a Black Widow movie for a long time. And see, that's my only like I said, it's my only problem. Is like, well, didn't they make it? Didn't they kind of backdoor make a Black Widow movie with that movie with oh God, Scarlett Johansson? Well, because they ba- it was basically a Black Widow well, movie, but it wasn't. They, you know, they, Red yeah. Sparrow or something like yeah, she like, made oh, just she, Sparrow. Oh, Sparrow, whatever yeah, it was. But yeah. that was partially because they weren't fucking making this movie. Right? They, were, they someone saw the demand and they were like, oh well, let's make a movie to fill that niche when they should have just made, made that this fucking movie. Yeah, like yeah. if they had yeah. made 100%. that before, ah oh, man. Because here's the thing, mm-hmm. are, like clearly there's no shortage of uh, people to make these movies because they churn out so fucking many Marvel movies. You couldn't just add this to the list five years ago, you know? And it was literally you know? when everyone was, was like, yo, let's give them, like, give her one. And if you don't want to give just her one, her and Hawkeye, they have a cool yeah, they've got a, Yeah, they've got a thing and Hawkeye's really boring and shouldn't get his own movie even though he's on a list to get his own well, fucking movie. Well, no, they well, should we'll make, they that. should do Hawkeye, Black Widow movie, about them as a couple. Black Hawk. Well, they, no, 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 but he's like turns abusive and call it Black Eye. Anyways, you can't mm-hmm. do that. But also, okay. you have to keep in mind that like Hawkeye has a killer graphic novel that came out a few years ago that they could have based the, uh, his show a movie on that would have like made him actually an interesting character. Yeah, other than just like just lying. the guy there with the bow. Yeah. 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 Which I mean, he so. he had kind of an interesting And who who plays him? J- Renner? Renner, yeah. He's such a good actor. Yeah, yeah. so they really could have done something. Hawkeye stuff, but... Renner as Hawkeye should have been just no a slam dunk. Yeah, they could have. They could have done something. I something. think wasn't didn't they like drag their feet on this Black Widow thing because they didn't think guys would come and see a female led superhero movie and then the Wonder Woman movie fucking blew up. Which is up. so stupid because like, did you see guys react to her in that in her outfit in yeah. Iron Man two? They were like, let me get that shit now. Like, give me a Black yeah. Widow movie yeah. now. And yeah. then they waited like eight years. Like, yeah. where's my Black Widow movie? Right. right. Yeah. I, I remember doing the hashtag We Want Widow like. For a while, when you know Facebook activism so was a thing, frustrating. <laughs> just, but, just yeah. Give, but yeah, like I'm still proud of the coming down the pipe. Um, yeah. Marvel movies. Marvel movies. That's probably the one that has the best chance of getting me to go into okay. the. Yeah. For me, it's yeah. Guardians me Three. Yeah, both both. Of those. I will, I would I will see, see Guardians Three. I'll probably end up seeing it too. Well, yeah. oh no, actually, hundred percent. I know I'm going to see that. I didn't. Oh no. They brought they got they brought Gun back for it. Well, hold on, did they? James we'll, Gunn's back on we'll discuss it okay. when we get to it, okay. but I forgot to write it down because that got to yeah. a point where it was just nothing with Marvel stuff, and I was like, yeah. Ooh. same." All right, yeah. Okay. Ar- next, Artemis Fowl. Never read these books, um, but they, my younger brother, read them. They are much beloved books. Uh, 
sure, fine, fuck it, let's make it. I, I don't care. I was, but vaguely, I was like, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Then they mentioned fairies, and I was burned by True Blood, and I'm out. That's fair. That's uh, a, that's, that's a fair it's take. It's a fairy movie based on like I guess some YA typey thing. Oh, it's very, yeah. it's very YA. Right. I'm so probably was, out. Yeah, I was like, yeah. but I think it's me. it's more YA. I think this is more directed at boys. It's more like boy YA. Like, so I, it's, was, I don't think you're going to have like the romance, the romancey angles. I hey don't man, think. I don't even care if you do, as long as you do it right. But you yeah. said fairies, and the last yeah. time I saw fairies, it went sideways. Right. You're not going to give me like Oberyn or something like that. Right, but, uh... right. All right. Wonder okay. Woman, 1984. I want you here it. for it, Derek? I know. I know. Trizzle. I still all... haven't seen the first one. I know Ooh, it's super so good, good, and I I just never got. So I mean, DC finally made a good movie. Yeah. So so okay. I think maybe. I like that. What did I write on that? I was like, I haven't watched the first one. I need to at some point. It's just Wonder Woman's the only good part of fucking Justice League. That's what I hear. Yeah, like that whole movie was hot fucking garbage until Wonder Woman shows in. It saves the day, obviously. And then the Wonder Woman movie was fantastic. Love Wonder Woman as a character, anyways. Oh, she's so fucking badass. The fucking Cliff Chang drawn uh, New Fifty Two version. Yeah, that was like pick of the week. Every week, every time it came out back in the day for me, it was just nice. like, God, I love that comic. Yeah. Because it was super cool. Like, it reimagined the the uh, gods of uh, Olympus and stuff like that oh, nice. to, like, more traditional nowadays. Like, so Ares was, like, this old white dude in a white suit that was, like, oh, a, like just selling Hale guns yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, and that's it was cool. So, and the art style, I'll have to show you. I'll have yeah. to find. Oh, it's so good. I do want to say. It's minimalist style that I love so much. I'm very interested to see Kristen Wiig do, as a villain. Do do we know why they chose 1984? Uh, Because it's Cold War type I, I stuff. I know they mentioned Cold War, but is there like an event that happens in 84 that I'm not I was conceived. <laughs> and I too am a Wonder Woman. I'm a wonderful woman. <laughs> Oof. God. All right, we're, we're moving on. We're I approve moving on. your... Uh... <laughs> Morbius. Morbius. This is another Marvel comic. It's got Jared Leto. I know I'm out. Uh, I yeah this is this is guy becomes a vampire. I know womp, who Morbius womp. is. I never read Vaguely those comics. I'm just I'm was, But eh. it's going to have Tyrese Gibson in it and I do like Tyrese Gibson. Ooh. After his mental breakdown, I'm like, "Nah, you're taking shots at the Rock. You t- that's the wrong man." What? Mm, not my he man. He last shot at the Rock? Oh, he took all kinds of oh, shots at the Rock. Ooh, Tyrese, you can go. Like he was having like a full, well, in his defense, he was it seemed like he was legitimately having a full on mental breakdown. Okay. So if, it's like oh, even the like Rock that. was like Brother, maybe you need to get off the internet for a while. Yeah, <laughs> and, okay. uh, yeah you're no, not like I'm you not. When, you, when I, you're hungry. I, I, Have a there's, Snickers. There's too yeah. many Marvel movies. This is oh, it's Sony too. It's a Sony Marvel. So yeah. that's why it's getting made. Marvel, Marvel hasn't got so hard up for ideas. No, they yeah, had, this is this is okay. Sony trying to use their okay. IP because that's because he you know he shows yeah. up in a lot of the uh, Spider Man okay. stuff. Uh, up next is Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. I don't think it should be on this list. I don't like it. Just shouldn't. We're we're, we're here talking about sci-fi yeah, fantasy. This is just murder mystery. But I'm kind of into murder mystery. I am too, but this is, is like, okay. Just the wrong list. But can right. we right. talk about the cast? Gal, it's got a great cast. Oh, Gal Gadot. Really? I didn't actually look at that. Yeah, Gal Gadot, Russell Brand. She um, is a very pretty woman, by the way. Yeah, I don't know if y'all she know is. that. She is Army yeah. Hammer, um, bunch of other folks, uh, Tom Bateman. Uh, but this is this is the sequel to uh, Murder right. on the Orient Express. And I didn't hear good things about that. See, I haven't watched that. I, I'm into like my whole thing was like if I'm into it, if I'm in a good mood for and want to see like a mystery because every once in a while I just fuck yeah, yeah. let's watch a, let's watch a nice mystery. Knives Out. I'm seeing Knives Out in theaters. Why do well, I know you need to hurry. It's, it, it just came. It just came out. It's been out for a minute. I think. No, it just came out. Okay. Yeah. No, it's coming out like this weekend. Knives out. Mm-hmm. Knives okay. out. Uh, murder mystery. I feel like. And by I've all accounts, the seems, reviews. It seems the, pretty. Funny the reviews pretty. are fantastic. Mm. So yeah. Mm. I feel like I heard something about this, and it makes me nervous because oh, half the time. Oh, here's I hear the thing that should make you nervous. Who's the most recent Bond? Uh, plays the most recent James Bond. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, Craig? Ne- yeah, uh, Daniel Craig. He plays like the detective, but he's got a southern accent, and it's a little over the top. So. I'm here. For, what are you talking about? I'm here for that. Nick it's Cage, a little over Nick the top. Cage and yeah, Con Air, fair, bruh. Fair. You don't treat it's, women it's about like that, that level. or whatever the you fuck it is. Put the bunny down. <laughs> we don't treat, treat women, women like that. that. <laughs> Cinematic masterpiece. Oh, yeah. Con Air is uh. such a great movie. I want to. I want to watch yeah, that. Yeah, I know, I right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Up next, The Witches. It's a Roald Dahl book. Oh, I'm here for it. Uh, I'm here for it. Uh, um, 
I, I'm not eh. like I'm not like oh my god got to I think but it's just it's, gonna be like witches well, doing normal they're setting things. in Alabama though yeah and that was the only That's thing cool. that kind of made I like me like that I'm like, uh, but, <sighs> 1960s Alabama yeah so I'm, I'm here for it I'm here for it I just think okay I like World Doll like uh, you know Anyway, uh, all right. Stanley Tukey, so that's good. Anne Hathaway, okay. Yeah. Chris Rock, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. The, I didn't look at any of that. Yeah. I'm a little bit yeah. more interested yeah. now, but, great. Uh, it's no. Uh, I think I'm probably going to pass on this. Well, I'm not saying I want to see it in theaters, but I do want to see this. Okay. All right. The For Eternals. $4.39. Yeah. The Eternals don't give a fuck. But it's by Neil Gaiman. Yeah, I am. Vaguely interested in Jack because Kirby. Of that. Yeah. I just don't. But it's I, another Marvel movie. But is it a movie or is it a TV show? Film. It's a film. Okay, film. then I don't. Uh, it'll be out in November. It's Marvel comic, but then also Marvel Studios. Yeah, so it's a Marvel. I'm Marvel. just. I don't know anything I, I about them. It was, I'm not. But... I don't go see the Marvel movies of the stuff I'm interested in. I feel like the we project. should fix that. Yeah, I don't know. All right, up next is Selma Dune. Hayek. Though it's got a good cast. We've Gorgeous. talked about Dune on here. Hold we on, all know. Bob. I fucking hold on. What? I feel like you just kind of jump into it. Let's go. What do you guys think about Doom? Just start uh, like that. I just mas- start it like that. Just oh, guys, start- what do you think about Doom? Let's go. I want to go. Oh, I want to go to this bad. I don't oh. even like the book that much. No, but- this is going to be amazing. Yes. Amazing. I'm so amazing. in there. Tanya, Tanya I know you are, you this? <laughs> I know you are you into this? I know you hate this book, but come I'm on. I'm not as excited as y'all are, Yo. but I will say that I hated the book the first time. It was okay the second time, so maybe if I see it movie th- form, Josh I'll actually like it. Brolin as Gurney so, Halleck. So here's the thing. Here's my selling point on it, right? So there are definitely problems that I have with this book, or th- with the book. So, but it creates such an interesting world yeah. that if they put it on the big screen, I can ignore some of the flaws of characterization for the fucking sheer majesty of what they'll put on my screen. Um, Josh Brolin, you know, Gurney the majesty Halleck, is Jason, Jason Momoa, Momoa as Duncan Idaho. Did not know that until I read this. And I was like, Javier Bardem as Stilgar. Yeah, that Motherfucker, I, like, I am straight as a day is long. I'm going to be slow fapping it in the theater <laughs> the was, whole time to this movie. I was going to go with you until you said that. Now Ooh, I'm going to no. have to watch it alone. Mm. Um, mm. But, yeah, no, I'm super into it because I imagine there will be some Fucking baller ass fight scenes, and um, there'll be some interest. Basically, I feel like the things that I don't like about it, I will be able to get over because they'll show me epicness yeah. on the screen. All well, right. this is also going to dovetail into TV and other movie things as well. It's part of the agreement for the um, property licensing oh, okay. rights yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So it's like not just this movie. You're going to get if this. Yeah, I, if you're going to get a lot of well, things. Because, yeah. No, I'm super hyped for this. All right, we're gonna we need to move a little quicker on the okay. rest of these. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, you know, we're already sorry. at 42 minutes, and there's still a lot. Chaos of walking. I give a fuck less. I I've never heard of this. I don't know. Based it, on a book by the knife lover, it's a, it's never letting go, Patrick Ness. Uh, no. It's a Lions Gate. They do good things. Yeah. Like, look, I'll watch a trailer for it. I'm not saying no, but just right now, I don't care. I've never heard of this. Mm-hmm. It's Kid, not... kids and the dog and weird kids. Yeah. Dystopian. Um, same Great. thing for cursed. Well, no, Cursed is no. different. Cursed, I'm tired of retellings of King Arthur. I yeah. most of them are done so I've shit. Been I'm over it. I've been burned, burned too by, many times. Yeah, oh, so, which it. sucks. I'm so interested in King Arthur. Yeah, but uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier pass. I'm not going to pass on this. It's a TV show, which I think is good for them. Yeah, but only like on Disney Plus. I've got well, Disney Plus. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't plan to get rid of it. So yeah. that's what I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm over. So you're there for it? Okay. I don't like. Yeah, well, fucking... it's six episode series. It's it's more like it's a gonna mini be it's series. gonna be like Mandalorian. It's like yeah. that's only eight episodes. Yeah. I won't, still won't watch it. Whatever. So here's the one I know up next to the one you, when I saw this, like, oh, Derek's going to cream his little <laughs> his tidy whities. <laughs> Let's go. Invincible by Robert Kirk. Oh, I'm so excited. I, even I'm excited for this one. <laughs> Amazon based TV show. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, Tanya. You, why do I hate superheroes? Because no one fucking dies. There's no long term repercussion. Yes. Invincible is superheroes. But death matters. Ooh, yes. I'm with it. Also, and they're very mature, like very. It's an real animated characters. series too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm no, really I, excited about it because it's like it still neat. has all your and Sandra O, oh, Seth Rogen. I mean, it's got some yeah. good folks. Like, Mark it, Hamill. So here's the thing: now it's not as dark as like Irredeemable and stuff like that. Yeah, but Invincible does have like people fucking die. Yeah, and like characters have realistic things. Like there's a character that 
at one point like starts putting on weight and people are like hey buddy maybe yeah. <laughs> like realistic character stuff and it's like yeah i'm super fucking stressed i'm a goddamn superhero to, to kind of this doesn't like this isn't like super spoilery at all but like talking about all the like there's invincible and irredeemable like basically the they were in the same universe running at the same time like no you're thinking of a different one you're thinking of uh, incorruptible and irredeemable. Oh, uh, yeah. This is this is the Robert okay. Kirkman one. This okay. is now. If it had been that one, I would have been like, Whoa. Yeah, I, I think they need to do. They, they need probably to do should. Well, yeah, but I fucking the most hate interesting Mark Wade, so I can't superhero support that. One. But but uh, Robert Kirkman, I'm yeah. You know. All right, Star Girl, no. Womp Womp, don't give a fuck. It's okay. DC TV show. High school. Well, chick no, the, doing... D, the DC TV shows are actually okay. good. Yes, but, but I'm not gonna watch let's, them. Let's but... let's I say am. that it's also only on the DC's streaming service, which is a problem. But I'll, I'm out. I might have to sail the seven seas. We'll see. But yeah. like, I oh aha aha aha. I see it. But, but no, like you, what you, are you, you doing? You watch, you watch a bunch of the DC I don't, TV no, shows. No, I stopped but watching a long time ago. But you did. You I did watch them. them. I, the yeah. ones that were on the CW. Were yeah, I watched some of the like. Like legitimately, the Arrow or Arrow for like the first three Arrow, seasons. Arrow, Flash, really good. Yeah. First season of Flash, good. Then that shit just went. <laughs> down they did hill. what the CW does. Right. Yeah. But but with Star Girl, <laughs> the reason I'm super CW. interested in this is it's stories that I don't know set with other people in that this world that I don't know, okay. but I know the create like the person that did the most famous storyline of them, which is Jeff Johns. And I think it's what this is going to be based on. Okay. And I've always meant to get around to reading those stories. So now I don't have to. I can just watch them. So okay. I'm super excited about this. All right. All right. I'm with that. Uh, I just don't give a fuck, but yeah. you're allowed to. Um, Why the Last Man? Brian K. Vaughn is amazing. Ooh, yeah, this this is the good. least intriguing property of that he's ever done to me. I don't know why this one has just never it's, interested me. but it does. I've and, read the first trade or two of it. I it's, have no doubt it's good. Yeah. Brian K. Vaughn, I don't think Brian K. Vaughn could... I want to read... He could, I want to see he could, poop, he could poop on a piece of paper, and I'd probably go, oh, that was a really good poop. Wow, yeah. impressive. Um, but but I, I can I, see this that one just This one just this doesn't one's, uh, Ex Machina, I think, is And also, and then, like, like, I wish they had made this, like, 15 years ago. Just the political climate right now, I just know this is going to stir up a yeah. shitstorm. From like both sides, is it, it bad? Part of the reason, like partly, that's why I'm curious about it. Yeah. I just want to be like, I want to, I do. I'm curious to see how they execute it. Like, I, I don't think they're going to execute it in some weird way or anything like that. But I just know that there's going to be. That was my concern. There's going to be like, angry people on the internet. My thing is well, just like no I've what, read but, this story, looking at them, like, uh, are you going to follow the source material? Because there's going to be some angry. real <laughs> unhappy people. Yeah, but like if, but if you follow the source material, that's yeah. What you're I don't know. Like I said, I wish I had made this like 15 years ago. Mostly, I'm just I'm I'm gonna sip my tea. Yeah, and just, sit, sit and back just and watch. watch. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, Shang Chi, Shang Chi, and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Is this the one you're most hyped for? Yes. Okay. Really? I'm here's not. He really it. likes the more uh, martial level. art, okay. street level oriented. Here's why I like this one. This one, I know nothing about his stuff. Everything they tell me about him is gonna be new. It's gonna be kung fu-y, which is awesome. And I've always liked him because I had like. A Marvel encyclopedia yeah. in high school, and he was in it. And I was like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" And they're like, "Best martial artist in the Marvel universe." I'm like, "Better than Iron Fist?" They're like, "Best." I'm like, oh. So now I just want to like, I, just I do see like it. how they had to specifically add yeah. in that they're avoiding the stereotypes associated with him. So yeah. I don't know what stereotypes they're referencing. Probably but not. I can, I think it, I can no, imagine. I think, I think it was mostly just that, like, the villain was. Named something. Oh, that, was it the? Oh, 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 oh. It was oh. like Doctor. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. something that was just a negative, uh, super racist Asian, stere- it Asian stereotype. It, it, it was deal. a stereotype, but it wasn't like super racist. It was just like ah, uh, that's kind of a bad taste. Yeah, yeah okay. So All I right. think they're changing that. So I'm like, okay, yeah. whatever. I'm in. So uh, this Marvel's what if? I'm kind of here for it. Alternate I universe kind of stuff. I'm with it. Super yeah. not into it. Super not because like it's, well it's because because of how they're doing it just a, a animated anthology where each one tells a different little story I like it twenty three episodes of oh is it twenty three oh that's a lot yeah I for twenty three it's for every week twenty three episodes yeah once a week they are bringing in a, a ton happened. of they're bringing in like all the people to reprise their roles so that's kind of cool yep 
Um, oh, I'm interested. Yeah. If I still have Disney Plus when this comes out, uh, yeah, ooh, I yeah. won't because it comes yeah. out in 2021, and I'm only going to use that free Until one year from Verizon. <laughs> oh, oh for, uh, okay. Yeah. Up next is Nimona, which I know you're going to be. Oh, into. I'm so hyped for this. I'm, I'm so hyped for this. Somewhat interested, I wish mostly because you're slightly right. villainous. Uh, yes. Shapeshifter? Yes. Yeah, I, no, like yeah, I, I like it. Oh, it's great. Have I like you it. not read? Did I not, not get you to read this? No. I'll let you borrow I, it. I it's great. It okay. I mean, um, no, it's great. One of y'all is leaving with pneumonia today. I don't it. want pneumonia. I have to work. <laughs> Maybe that'll get you out of work. Yeah, get you out of work. Ha ha, no. I just go to work with pneumonia. Um, have you ever worked retail at Black Friday? There ain't no getting out of it. Um. Anyway, we'll I'm, I'm super it. hyped that this is animated. Yeah. yeah. This, ne- this needs to be animated. Well, obviously, y'all think it's considered. Yeah. Up next is The Batman. Um. Cool, I'm it's the a Batman, Batman movie. I'm, I'm going to watch it. It's got Batfleck. No, it doesn't. It, it, it doesn't. It's I Robert. It was. It's oh, Robert Pattinson. He wrote, wrote it, which I'm. Which is it. why I'm people. People are like really hating on it, and I'm just oh, like, yeah. ah, that's whatever. why. I, okay, wait. I, I just want to watch it so I can see how. Bad I just want to read this. Is. The project has been described as an emotional Batman filmed. We're still noir driven Batman investigating a case. I just can't. Yeah, no, I, I... I just can't. I'm yeah, sorry. Like, uh, I, I have written down... Let's see what I wrote. <clears throat> Robert Pattinson playing an emotional Batman. I'm kind of losing interest. <laughs> Inter- interested, <laughs> yes. but because I think it could be tragically bad. Robert Pattinson. Yeah. Which I don't actually I don't, don't think... I don't hate on him just because, like, Twilight, but... I like I, Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman, though. Mm. I'm with that. I like Zoe Kravitz. Yeah. I've never seen her. I never saw that, I don't think. Um, all right. Suicide Squad. No. Don't care. Nope. It's Edge Lord Marvel. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm, no, or DC. Yeah, yeah I'm, no, I'm not there no, for it. Thor, Love and no. Thunder. I don't uh, think so. Well, I probably will watch it, but I like Thor because Chris Hemsworth is a hot fucking piece of people, and they ain't none. I'm not. Like, I'm not in this to see Jane Foster be Thor. Well, I mean, there is like there is Lady it. Thor, and uh, I'm cool with yeah, I'm cool was... with Lady Thor, but maybe not Jane Foster. Eh, yeah. Whatever. Well, I mean, it's the same person, so. I just don't like. Natalie Portman. I like Natalie Portman. As Thor. Uh, uh, hmm. Fantastic Beast. Haven't seen one and two. I'm, nope. I'm going to, I, I want saw the to first see, one. I didn't see the see, second one. I want Not to see wheelhouse. all three. Not I want mine. to see all three. I'm just waiting until they're all out. Nah. Wicked. Wicked. Eh. Um, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Yeah. yeah. I keep meaning to read the book. I've uh, always meant to watch the musical because yeah. I like musicals. Yeah. Never yeah. seen it. So like, a, friend oh, mine, a, a friend of mine yeah. just went and saw it in Atlanta. Oh, see, so, there, yeah. see I'm kind of curious. And, they, yeah, and no, it I'm... seems like it's actually going to be a musical in the movie, too. Yeah. Because they based, said there's two It's not based songs. on the book. It's based, based on, on the, the musical. The musical. Yeah. So, so I'm here for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Loki. No. Don't care. Nah. WandaVision. Don't care. It's from the like the writers who did Loki is Rick and Morty. I'm out. It It sounds like. Aren't they already doing this with like the what if thing kind of deal? Like WandaVision I, sounds like the what if thing. Well, oh no, 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 because no, 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 no. Wanda oh, and oh, Vision. Oh, you're talking about Loki. I'm talking about Wanda oh, together. Yeah, yeah Wanda Vision is supposed to be in like the 1950s, which makes no sense to me because they weren't together until current. I don't understand what they're doing, yeah. and I've lost interest. Uh, yeah. Money grabbing, Derek. Is what okay. they're doing. <laughs> well, then why are you doing it in the 1950s? Do it current day when they you know actually existed. Yeah. But didn't they like go die? I don't, I don't fucking know. Fucking but again, I moved past it. I don't care. Hawkeye. Cause... Hawkeye. Are you here for it, Derek? Nah. No. It's for TV on Disney Plus. So maybe. And it is going to be Jeremy Renner still. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, see, that's my thing is I didn't actually look. I thought it was a movie. If it's a oh, TV show, Oh, it's a I'm TV show, but uh, he's passing it on to someone else. So you're not going to get the Jeremy the, no. Renner that we want. No, no, no. no he's... You'll, you'll get him for the time and then he'll probably pass the... Basically what they're doing is they're doing the passing of the torch to Kate, whatever her name is. Yeah, Bishop, the new, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which yeah. I'm okay with, which means that they're probably going to do a lot of what I was talking about, which was the the storyline that they did with Matt Fraction. I think it was Matt Fraction. I'm blanking on it now, but yeah. a really good run that happened a few years okay. back. So that might be cool. Black Panther 2, everyone's going to see that. Yeah. I haven't seen the first one. Yeah. Uh, I'm not yeah. going to see the second one. Cards yeah. of Galaxy 3. I will be there for that. Super hype. Yep. So didn't I say I was going to say something about this when we got to I don't know. It? Yes, you did. I'm Maybe. super into this. Does it say anywhere in there that Chris Hemsworth is involved? In Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Yes. No. He should be. It It if has confirmed is... that it will take place after Thor Love and Thunder. So probably no Hemsworth. Because oh, we'll have Lady Thor instead. Well, no. Like, he... At the end of those one movies, like, he flies off with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. And I was only going to watch the next Guardians of the Galaxy to see... Because... The scene with him, ha- like, who's based- in charge here? Me. Yes. Me. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely you. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, it, that's great. Oh, it, it was so fucking <laughs> hilarious. So if he's in it as a part of like the crew, yeah, yeah. I'm there. If not, I don't mm-hmm. care. We'll there's see. not there's not a cast list, so no. I mean, he could still be there. Who knows? Um, the new Warriors. I don't. Marvel. Not, not really there for they're, they're it. Not TV show. Think I know. No. If it's a TV, I might watch it if it's a TV show. If I still have, you know. <laughs> October Faction does intrigue me. I'm, I'm very interested I'm, in this. I'm interested in this. Yeah. Netflix. It sounds like Monster of the Week kind of stuff. It potentially. sounds. It could be like early seasons supernatural, supernatural yeah. which I was there for. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm with that. Yeah. Three Body Problems. Yeah. I, I think I'm no, interested for this. No. 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 I've read the book. It's not. You cannot film this book. Why are they making this into a movie? This it's is a dumb. TV show that's 24 episodes animated, isn't it? What? You Ew. Me. This is dumb. This is dumb. <laughs> this is dumb. This I, is dumb. This is dumb. I have somewhat interested written down, so... And, and actually, Amazon did try to do a film thing. It went poorly, to your point. Yes. But this is little TV, little episodes that might work better. No. It's dumb. Okay. Read, these, read this book, and you're going to be like... Because like part of it is just set in like night like cultural revolution China, yeah, and then other parts of it are set in like modern day China. But neither one of them are as like ooh crazy cool stuff. But the stuff that is crazy cool visually is in a video game, but it's very bleak and unappealing video game. It's like this is dumb. This is a dumb thing to film. Okay, Holy so we fuck. can skip this next one. Yeah, Wheel of Time is trash. Wheel um, of Time. No. I, so the last no. one. The last one is Wheel of Time. Amazon TV. Yeah. So let me read this. Yeah, read your <clears> note. <throat> read your note. Inject directly into my veins. <laughs> Either it will be amazing and it will get me high on the awesomeness or it'll be trash and I will just want to die anyways. So I think they're putting too much money into this for it to turn out like a Legend of the Seeker. I think I don't know that it will be as yeah. good as their Lord of the Rings because they're obviously putting more money into their Lord of the Rings. But I bet there's going to be a lot of because it's Amazon doing both. There's going to be a lot of shared resources. Yeah. I think between them, I am concerned, and I I'm I'm here for. It. I think it's going. I think, I think it's going to be, be really good. good. I, I think, think it'll, it'll be good. good. But I also the way one of the things read. I think I'm just reading into this, so I'm, I'm going to reserve yeah. judgment until we see a little bit more. Yeah, I, I, until we start seeing some trailers, I'm I'm optimistic. Yeah, oh no, I'm still optimistic, anyways. Yeah. But they said a thing, and I was like, oh, please don't go that direction because yeah. like that doesn't make. Well, sense. I know I know the focus is supposed to initially be on and Moraine, it should. and it should. Um, because I think that's a great choice. I think we talked about it. Yeah, before. and I I just wonder. I wonder if it's going to be like Game of Thrones, like later on when the three. Tavarian split up. Is it going to be like Game of Thrones where it's like following the different storylines? Like just I hope jumping, so. Jumping That's around. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I, my thing is, and this is, I'm going to mention just because it was a concern and it could have just been the way Tor wrote it up this yeah. time because they didn't want to spoil anything but I still think it was a bad choice. It was like, the way they wrote it is like, Moraine traveling with five people, one of which might be the, oh. I was like, please don't, like look. Everyone knows it's Rand. Well, eventually. Well, my thing is like, I like that they're doing it from Moraine's perspective. But don't try and sell it like it could be one of the two women. Like the whole point of the dragon being reborn oh, is a, I is see a what crazy you're man. Crazy, like, please, crazy please, man. Yeah. Please don't do that. So I you, understand. You'd be okay if you're like, oh, is it Matt? No, I think they Rand should do that. Hundred percent, they should okay. do that. But it's like, oh, don't don't try and sell me on it. Could be the women too, because that's not... at that point you're like you're changing too right. much. And of that the was core my issues. And I think I'm just book. reading into it. I think yeah. it was just them phrasing us. Yeah. Okay. We'll see. But I was like, oh, please don't do that because that would break my All tiny right. heart. So here, here's Rianco for this week. Yes. It is 2025. Almost. The Turducken chimeras have decimated life on Earth. Uh oh. Humanity now struggles to survive from the dark recesses of the underground. A ragtag group of warriors is our only hope to take back Earth from the ravenous poultry. Run amok. <laughs> new from Ranco, well, or the hottest new dating app taking the caves by storm. Do your part to repopulate the earth by swiping right on that hottie. Team up to take on the turducken plague during the day, <laughs> then campfire and chill in the evening. I'm with it. For only five hubcaps a month, upgrade to War or Pro to super stalk the apple of your eye and overlay their location with a heat map of the turducken migration patterns. Rianco, we are obligated by the court to apologize for Thanksgiving 2019. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was, Ryan sent me that just like I was at work and just from nowhere I get that and I could not stop laughing. I think I the it. only I issue it. I have with that is I feel like he over or underestimates our willingness to eat them all. 
Yeah. That was my only concern. Well, like, I think I, I think they're just a lethal. It's like it'd be like us us trying to live off lions if lions were a genetic plague Bob, on Earth. <laughs> let's do this. Old lion if fish. it tastes good enough, lion I mean, fish. let's just lion do fish. this. Yeah. Eat those. So, well, that story is Finn. 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 That means done. Dunzo. <laughs> Dunzo manifesto. We don't treat women like that. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Episode uh, ran a little long, but y'all love us. Hopefully, so you stuck with it. Um, if not, well, um, fuck your mother. How about that? Yeah, fuck your mother. Trebek. Uh, yeah. Next week, we will talk about the stuff that's coming up potentially. Oh my god, there's some really exciting oh, stuff. Yeah, we won't cover everything on that list because it's even longer. But, but we'll, we'll hit the, we'll the, hit the ones, ones that we're super hyped for and yeah. that you should be too. And none of those bullshit things we don't care about. Right. So we'll, we will be cutting all the Marvel bullshit. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's something in there worth mentioning. Oh, god, I didn't I don't know close enough. So. All right. Well, in the coming week, I hope the uh, balsam and cedar scent that fills your house is just the perfect note that is calming, soothing, and doesn't cause your allergies to flare up. It's overpowering, and you smell it before you even hit the door to your house. I don't smell it. And may the blessing of the beard be upon you. Thanks for listening to this episode of Books, Beards, Booze. Our co-hosts are Bob, Derek, and Tanya. Our producer is Bob. For more information, visit our website, booksbeardsbooze.com. Follow our social media at Tales by Bob. If you enjoyed this podcast, please rate, subscribe, and share. Okay, bye.